What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video we're going to talk about a new untethered iOS 10 jailbreak for the 32 bit devices. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, which is a software that you can use to enter or exit recovery mode or fix your iPhone if it's stuck in the Apple logo or the iTunes logo. Check them out in the link below. So the news are coming from this account in here called Tora on Twitter. A few hours ago he posted or she posted this in here which says quote untethered iOS 10 jailbreak and downgrade on iPhone 5, which is indeed a 32-bit device, and she or he posted this video in here, which is pretty much a demonstration of the fact that the device is indeed booting untethered, because as you can see there is a custom logo, and of course the verbose boot, which is only possible if you have an untethered jailbreak and a boot chain exploit, because of course even if you have an untethered jailbreak, if you do not have an iBoot or bootroom exploit, you wouldn't be able to load a custom logo or of course to set the um, variables for a verbose boot. So as you can see here, it boots directly into the um, iOS, and of course it goes straight to iOS 10 after that. And it has this theme in here, and of course you can see that the, um, the settings are working fine, and everything works fine, there is the uh, iOS version that is 10.2.1, which is definitely nice, and she or he goes ahead and opens Cydia, and it does work indeed, without having to open any other jailbreak tool, pretty much proving the fact that it is indeed a jailbreak that is untethered. Now, this jailbreak has been achieved through a combination of an old exploit for the iBoot posted by Xerob and some blobs for the iOS 7.0.4. So the exploit I'm talking about is this one here, I made a video back in May when it has been released, it's called the Ribis Antiquis, or Antiquis, I cannot really pronounce that correctly, but anyways, it's an exploit for the iBoot which works all the way up to iOS 7.1.2. And if I'm not mistaken, it also works on 64-bit devices. So maybe in the future it will be possible to combine the things the same way in order to make a 64-bit device get an untethered iOS 10 jailbreak, but for the moment it works on 32-bit devices. Now if you want to take a look in here, the write-up is actually pretty long and pretty detailed on how the exploit works, how the boot chain works and so on. And you also have the source code for this exploit at the end. Of course, it's not really a zip file or something. It's a tar.xz, which is pretty much base64 encoded. You would have to take all this in here, all the way to the uh, to the bottom, and of course, decode it with uh, base64. I did that, and you will get these folders in here, and these files, which is pretty much the content of the exploit. And you can go ahead and, of course, use it yourself if you want to. However, Dora has also posted the RAM disk here on Twitter. If you take a look in here, there is a post which says ramdisk f2.dmg and some Japanese characters. And if you go ahead in here on the link, it does indeed post the untether. So it's not just achieved, it's also released. But of course, there is that big caveat, which is pretty much the fact that you need to have the um, iOS 7.0.4 SHSH blobs in order to perform this thing. Because if you remember, the DRibis antiquest um, exploit is pretty much an exploit for the iOS 7.1.2 and lower, so you cannot use it directly on iOS 10, unfortunately. So if you take a look in here, there is this RAM disk or whatever is this in here, and you can download it and use it. And this is pretty much some sort of write-up on how the things work, on what you need to patch, and so on. And you can see exactly the entire procedure and the device that has been used, which is an iPhone 5.2 with the iOS 7.0.4 iBoot, which is indeed vulnerable. So yeah, this is how they did it, which is definitely something interesting. They combined the old iBoot for 7.0.4, which is indeed vulnerable to this, and then they continued with the iOS 10.x components, which is again very, very creative. So yeah, it's not only demonstrated in here, it has also been released. For those of you who really want an untethered iOS 10 jailbreak, you can definitely go ahead and check out the files in here if you have the 7.0.4 blobs, which I assume that not many people have, but still, it's a cool achievement, especially since it's the first major thing that uses this exploit in here. So yeah, definitely nice. I will keep you updated if it gets updated for more devices and so on, but to see the iOS 10 being pretty much jailbroken and tethered with custom logo and so on is definitely nice, it reminds me of older iOS versions. 
Anyways, thank you for watching guys, this video is brought to you by Wondershare, they have a contest where you can pretty much win the new iPhone XR. All you have to do is to navigate in here, select which iPhone do you like from the ones presented this year, and if you're lucky, you can win the new XR. Check them out in the link below and good luck. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, I'm Geosnow and do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Till the next time, peace out.